Alright, here's another Transformers review. Because I'm also probably going to sell this one. This is Transformers Universe 2.0 um, Inferno. And he's a cool little fire truck. I believe this is Voyager class. Let's compare him to a deluxe figure. How about deluxe ramjet? Although, since he's in bot mode, maybe that's not a very good comparison. Oh, hey, look, I still have thrust right here. There you go. <clears throat> Inferno has a bunch of rolling wheels. It's got a little turret with a spring loaded shooty water cannon. It can rotate and it can go up or down and shoot. Um, and that's pretty much all he does in vehicle mode. If you ripped this off and if you bought this thing from TFC Toys, like I did, you might also have a ladder extension for him that I cannot put on at this angle. And this gives good old Inferno an extendo ladder. It's also got some chromey, I don't know, I guess water cannon spout. So that's pretty neat. And it's also got little pegs right there and there. So you can still attach the original water cannon. So that makes him neat. Neater, even. Um, the transformation is cool enough. All of these panels pegging together really well and tight. This one on both sides likes to pop out a lot, but it still stays in place pretty well. I actually really like how all these panels right here on the arms fold up. And sometimes release. Because they just fold away nice and tight and become little fancy cape things for him. Due to all these neat transformation joints, this guy's got a bunch of good articulation and his arms. Let's see, you put those in. Rotate that down. Rotate that. There we go. Click. Spin the legs. Um, spin the legs all the way, I think. Give him these right there. Fold down his toes. And then if you have not folded this thing up like I already did, then you can pull on one of these things and get a, maybe, cool head reveal, come on, it's stuck, what is it stuck on? supposed to do something like that and flip out and then his ears don't flip out. And there's his head and isn't he neat and too big to fit in frame. And then you fold up and flip that in the back so he's not all transparent through your see through in the back. So there's Inferno, and he's a decent bot mode. He's got lots of ratcheting shoulders, and swing out shoulders, and bicep swivels, and elbows, and wrist swivels. Um, you can have the cape on the side or the back. This thing always wants to pop up. 
this is my problem with this figure. These leg joints are all just a tad loose for how top heavy he is. So sometimes when you're posing him, he wants to throw himself backwards a little bit. Not a huge deal. Going back to this thing, you can either leave this the water cannon where it was, undersling it, or, or in addition to this little dealy. Um, I don't remember. I think it attaches via these two little hooks right there. Something like it just slides in. Or clips on or something. I don't remember. Something like... Maybe it's supposed to go on the other side. Oh, maybe the ones in the front fit better. There you go. You can slide those in. And now we can have a little ladder punch dealie. Because everybody wants an extendo arm puncher, what you call it, except it extends out the back. <laughs> Punch. So there you go, Universe Inferno. And if I had planned ahead and realized I was reviewing this guy, I would have pulled out the two repaints of him I have: Grapple and Hotshot. Hotshot is a straight up light blue repaint of this with a new head. Grapple is a yellow repaint of this with new forearms and I think new feet with the same head. Oh, and that one actually comes with a ladder of its own. You don't have to buy a third party ladder, do you? Anyway, buy one or more of those repaints because they're this is a good figure. It's nice and fun. Chunky G1-ish looking guy. Oh, and his head's pretty articulated, too. I recommend at least one version of of Inferno. Thanks for watching.